more fans. Another day, another beautiful day in Norway, but it's actually starting to get uh, overcast now. We had two weeks of beautiful weather, but it seems to be going back to normal. So tomorrow it's gonna start raining again. So this is the last day of good weather. And it's around 16 degrees, I think, but it's beautiful. I'm walking on a beautiful trail with my GoPro Hero 10 and uh, Action 2. Just recording and uh, having fun. But of course, this is also some kind of test just to see which of these cameras produces best images. Everything is set to the highest resolution on the GoPro Hero 10, 5.3K, and I'm actually filming in natural color profile just because I want to compare the colors between the GoPro Hero 10 and the Action 2. So I'm sweating out all the alcohol from yesterday. Uh, it's kind of funny to see that the older you get, you're not that tolerant anymore for alcohol and party. Get, you, get a huge hangover. Uh, I remember when I was younger, no problem partying for two days straight, but as soon as you turn 40, things change. So uh, getting older, but that doesn't mean you can't have fun. Uh, I'm breathing, sweating, and we're on the action two now. Switch to that in 4K 30 in normal color profile. And as you all know, I really like the color profile on the Action 2. It looks rich and just nice. We're not that far from the top, so that's good. And a lot of things are happening now in the action camera market. Things have changed. Now in September, a lot of cameras is gonna be released. We just got the Insta360 X3, 360 camera, which looks fantastic. Actually, with a half inch sensor. And soon, the Action 2 is gonna be, Action 3 is gonna be launched. And they seem to be going back to the old design. And the GoPro Hero 11 is due to release a couple of days after the Action 3. So it's going to be fun to see people comparing those two cameras. And as we all know, all of the hyper on those cameras is going to be produced by bigger channels and they always tell you to buy it. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. In my opinion, I have the best cameras you can have for action adventure now. Uh, the Hero 10 and the Action 2. So I'm not quite sure if, if I'm gonna upgrade. Just have to wait and see. A lot of people are really happy that DJI is going back to the old design. I'm not quite sure. I think it's, a, of course I can understand, but in many ways DJI is telling us that they did a mistake with the Action 2. And like I said in previous videos, I think the mistake is actually calling it an action camera. Because it's an excellent camera. For me, not for everybody. Oh, it's beautiful. So let's keep going. Yeah guys, we are at the top, uh, not that far, just two kilometers up and two kilometers down, just sitting down and relaxing. Uh, the weather is kind of nice, it's a little bit windy, uh, but that's fine, and as you can see it's pretty overcast. You can see over to Bergen that way, and you have the bridge over there between uh, Oske and uh, Bergen City. Yeah, so we're just gonna sit here a little bit. I'm gonna test the mic on the Action 2 also, 
just to see how good the wind uh, reduction is on these two cameras um, and I'm shooting a normal color profile I usually don't happy with that on the GoPro 10 I almost say Hero 11 because the Hero 11 seems to be exactly the same camera that's a little bit disappointing but that's just the way it is and um, yeah it's kind of windy the wind is blowing towards me and uh, just listen how good the audio is we're gonna switch to the Action 2 now and it's starting to pick up a little bit so that's good so we can test the wind reduction on these two cameras so let's switch to the action two and get back down again wind is really picking up uh, so it's a good test for uh, the mics on the action two uh, versus uh, the gopro Evo 10 it's actually a little bit more windy now than it was when i was recording with the gopro Evo 10 so it's a good test for the action two a lot of people are really happy with the audio on uh, the Action 2 and that's extremely important for an action camera of course that it works and uh, can pick up your voice. Uh, what I usually see is you have to raise the gain quite a lot in post but that's fine as long as the, the, the audio is not cl clipping and making any buzzing sounds. So you can see the view with the Action 2. really nice it is it's been beautiful weather for quite a long time uh, but now we're gonna get a few couple of days of rain and we actually need rain not often we are saying that here in Bergen because it's usually raining quite a lot but there's been a couple of weeks with uh, beautiful weather and we all know about the energy crisis so we need actually need water <laughs> to get the price on electricity down and uh, so let's uh, get back down and uh, head home. So uh, let's do that now. to do is actually tell me down in the comment which camera you think is best has the best image quality uh, go can shoot higher resolutions but it's not that easy to see any difference at all I actually think that the footage from the action 2 looks much more sharper and has more I don't know it seems to be better image quality in my opinion 
and the color profile is much nicer looks much more natural so uh, leave a comment down below and of course subscribe to my channel and give me a thumb up and i'll see you in the next video bye bye